Okie dokie, here we go. And I like this. Leadership changes at the Bulldogs via Michael Chamis from the Sydney Morning Herald. Stephen Crichton has been named as captain by Cameron Serraldo after impressing with his leadership. Serraldo informed Bulldogs players today and previous leaders, uh, club leaders, which were Reid Marnie and Matt Burton. They were made aware before the decision was made. And please, for those who think that he can be the leading point scorer, please, Critter, may your first decision be... Move over, Birdo. Mm. I'll take the kicking duties, please. If he's fair Ingham, it's under eights, isn't it? Yep. Let's call him under eights. Where the, <laughs> the, the gun does everything. I've got it on good authority. too. you know how I've been saying that he could be the best player, kicker in the comp? Yeah. And you know how I use the... the when you f- say... Oh, because sometimes when you say the best kicker in the comp, you, you've sort of... There's a... The way you <laughs> it's say not a horoscope, it, mate. No, no, no. The way you say it... <laughs> yeah. Is like his ability, like his potential. You yes. say he's beautiful. At he will in. be the best kicker yeah, in the comp. Yeah, okay. Well, let, let, let just you happy with that? Yeah. Well, what, do you, what do you need? You say caveat. It can't all be percentages. If a bloke kicks all in front, he, he'll be the most pure striker of the ball. Well, doesn't necessarily mean I'm a pure. Sometimes I'm a pure striker. Yeah, of the sometimes. Ball. Sometimes. Yeah, and I'm rank. Sometimes. So this man. So do you remember? And I spoke about this. Halligan's best years as a kicker were his final three seasons percentage wise, and that's because at training. Uh, there was this young kid coming through the ranks called Hazamil Masri, and he was just pushing him along to keep him honest. Best three years ever as a kicker. El Masri ultimately takes the reins and becomes, in my opinion, the greatest kicker of all time. Stephen Crichton's been sitting behind Nathan Cleary, and I love Nathan Cleary as a kicker, but I'll be brutally honest, I think Stephen Crichton is a better kicker than Nathan Cleary. The stats, do they agree with your sentiment? Well, he kicked 84% last year. Mm-hmm. Um, then he got pressured... Pressure kicks. It's all about that. You've got well, to throw them all into the same. You can't just throw them in. Brian, what I'm saying is, though, this this bloke, this bloke is going to charge up as one of the great point scorers in the okay. competition. A 50 to 1. He, he's still a going. baby. He's still a baby. And trust me. And so where I was going to is, my mail is, Daryl Halligan concurs with what I'm saying. Oh, okay. He agrees. And I'm sure he's probably the kicking coach out there. I'm not quite sure, but I, I, I am aware of the fact that Halligan... Who, who told you this? You didn't, pick I, up, mate, you didn't pick up some Chinese tourists again down there? No, <laughs> no, who told no, you this? No, I can't I can't reveal, mate. That's not the game we're in. Daryl, the piss bloke that lives next door to you? No, 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 not Daryl. No. <laughs> what about the manure man? <laughs> no, no, none of them. Okay. Uh, Reed and Birdo. This is from Sorrello. Reed and Birdo have played integral roles in setting the foundation for our team's success both on and off the field. They did an exceptional job being thrown in the deep end last year and put their hands up during a challenging year to help guide our young squad. There are a lot of lessons and learnings out of last year and both Reed and Birdo will be better from the experience of that. In other news, the Rabbitohs are allowed to visit Disneyland under certain conditions. <laughs> Ooh, you've got to get the fast pass. Uh, Michael Chemis from the City Morning Herald again. He's all over it, Chemo. Uh, City Morning officials, sorry, South Sydney officials have granted their players permission to visit Disneyland on their day off, if they adhere to one condition, they hire a mobility scooter. <laughs> Is this fitting? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Keep so reading. Ah, oh, this is Gia. Damien Cook on Thursday left the team camp in San Diego to reunite with his family in Los Angeles on a 24-hour hit and run mission to Disneyland. The Rabbitohs estimate Cook could get through to close could get through close to 20,000 steps at the amusement park with his wife and kids, and they don't want him on his feet that much, just over a week away from the game. They can't give him – that's – we make fun of those people. We make fun of – because, you know, that's yeah. the rort. That's the rort. You, you hire one, and you go straight to the front of the line. Correct. Because you can go in the disabled line. Yep. Yep. Correct. This is a G up. Is it Brooks? <laughs> it was legit on there today, on the website. <laughs> on the sales website. No, on the Sydney Morning Herald. <laughs> oh, no, I don't believe that. That's <laughs> no. That's, but where, who does Peter Fitzsimons? <laughs> yeah, it's the same bloody site. <laughs> it's an interesting decision. Like you know, imagine if 70. they all decide to go at the same time. Yeah. And there's 30 <laughs> South Sydney players <laughs> and officials just in these mobility carts trying to get into rides like Splash Mountain and. Yeah, because you get the front line. It's a wonderful world. What's your, line, what's your favourite lo- uh, ride there? Cars. Yeah, so... Cars is awesome. Mate, when you go into Disneyland, you... It's like... You know the dash on... It's like Bo- Disneyland. You know the, <laughs> you know the dash on um, uh, the, the, the test in Sydney? The sprint for seats. Yes. For yes, the members. yeah, yeah. And you know the sprint for tables at the Melbourne Cup or these days the Everest? When the gates are open, starting racing this time and off the cars they go and there's kids getting bundled everywhere. 
the race is on for about 1.5 kilometres to cars. Yeah.